after a week of scuba diving and exploring the beautiful island of Gozo today to return home arrived. First by a ferry to Malta then by a car to the airport and then obviously by plane to Treviso and I'm now here in the Malta Airport Departures Hall waiting for our flight which has unfortunately been delayed by quite a bit so there is nothing else to do but wait enjoy the stunning sunset over the airport and play the piano. We finally received our boarding call and here's our plane for today. It's just a bit over a year old Boeing 737 MAX 8-200 so the special Ryanair version with more seats and um, and extra built-in stairs which Ryanair likes to use and it's quite a nice aircraft I must say um, it's obviously very new and the cabin as you'll see is nice and clean I really do prefer this new cabin to the old Ryanair one that felt a lot more cramped also the the it was just too much yellow made me uncomfortable for some reason I have a window seat today um, and I always prefer a window seat obviously as an avgeek I, I need to see what's going on I also like this new ceiling the lights in the new Boeing cabin and here is a short time lapse of us taxing to the runway and the deemed lights for takeoff and landing. Some more taxing and takeoff. The cabin is noticeably quieter than the older 737 NGs. The legroom is okay, although um, obviously not very good, but good enough for this short flight. When I was flying the other way though, so from Treviso to Malta, our aircraft, which was supposed to be a MAX as well, was replaced by, by the normal 737 800 and I was really lucky to have the seat in the 16th row reserved and the 16th row is the window exit row on on the 737 NG it's just one row uh, before that exit on the max so I got a free upgrade to the better legroom of, of the window exit seat just because the aircraft type was changed so um, that was really nice I mean it's it's nice to have that legroom I mean not so important on a short flight such as this one but really welcome to have on, on a longer flight I really enjoyed that um, and I am quite tall I mean I'm not the tallest guy um, but uh, definitely on the taller side uh, so yeah that's welcome for sure I knew I wouldn't be eating anymore this day um, after this flight because we would come home quite late um, so I ordered 
uh, cheese and ham croissant, which was really reasonable, although quite a lot overpriced, as is the norm on on airline food, especially on low fare airlines. But it it tasted reasonable. I mean, I've had this before on my flight to London on Lorda Europe, which is the Ryanair subsidiary. You can. You can check out the video of me flying there um, as well. You can pause if you want to read the ingredients. Nothing healthy, very likely. <laughs> and here is, it's hard to see on my mobile camera, um, but the view was quite nice um, over the night cities. We are I think we are already descending at this point. I'm making this voiceover quite um, a lot later because I got sick in between and had other things to do. And the landing light came on. As you can see, the engine is now brightly illuminated. And the view is still very nice. And here is the landing. Definitely not the softest I've experienced, but good enough, I guess. I mean, it is Ryanair, after all, if it's one thing they're famous for, it's the hard landings. But this one wasn't that bad. And some thrust reverser in action on this beautiful engine of the 737 MAX. And already taxing of the runway here at the Treviso Airport in Italy. Alright, the fastened seatbelt sign came off, so we can now start leaving the aeroplane. Overall, this was a pretty average Ryanair experience. Maybe a little bit above average because of the nice new Max aeroplane. But then the flight was delayed, so that was not very nice. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd just call it average for Ryanair. Walking to the terminal, of course, is on foot, as is the norm with Ryanair. And now I'd like to talk a bit about the Treviso airport, because it's a funny little airport. There's nothing wrong with flying to it. Flying from it, however, can be quite a bad experience. Why? Because, frankly, this airport is simply too small for the number of passengers it serves. The biggest issue is seating. There are not enough seats in the departures hall, so people need to sit on the floor and stand all over the place. So yeah, it can get pretty bad, especially if your flight is delayed. So I think I'm going to avoid flying from this airport in the future, unless they do something about it, like um, expand it. Also, the services are very basic, but that's okay. I mean... It's an airport where mostly low-cost carriers operate, so that's not such a big deal. No one expects a lot of services, but the size of it is a problem, and people need proper sitting space. So yeah, that's all for this video. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Goodbye.